Bitcoin dominance is a metric that measures the share of Bitcoin's market cap against the market cap of all cryptocurrencies. Simple enough, but in this video, we'll explain the importance of this metric and how it can be used to navigate the market cycle. Just in case you needed a refresher, market cap represents the total value of a coin in circulation calculated by multiplying its price with its circulating supply. Meanwhile, all coins refer to any crypto aside from Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance is therefore calculated by dividing Bitcoin's market cap against the total crypto market cap. Did you know that Bitcoin has made up 38 to essentially 100% of the total cryptocurrency market cap since it was created over a decade ago? This is impressive when you consider the tens of thousands of altcoins that have sprung up since. This shows that despite the claims of Bitcoin killers out there, the fact remains that Bitcoin is still the largest and most popular cryptocurrency. This gives it a strong influence over the crypto market as a whole, which in general, moves in lockstep with the OG orange coin. But Bitcoin dominance, that is the share of Bitcoin over the entire crypto market, can tell a different story on its own. So let's take a walk down memory lane. Looking at the historical Bitcoin dominance chart, the obvious thing you'll note is that it had fallen off a cliff around 2017. From Bitcoin's birth in 2009 up till 2017, Bitcoin's dominance understandably stood around 95 to 99% as there were very few altcoins available. It's 2017 onwards where things get interesting when the crypto landscape changed drastically with the rise of Ethereum and the ICO boom it enabled. Investors flocked into each and every next big thing, which was mushrooming on the daily. By the end of the bull run, right around the end of 2018, Bitcoin dominance had fallen to an all-time low of about 38%. Those of you who had been around during that time will recall the brutal bear market which ensued. Many altcoins went bust and most ICOs never materialized. Paired with the likelihood that some people soon decided that Bitcoin may be the safer bet after all, capital flowed back into Bitcoin, resulting in Bitcoin dominance rebounding off its lows by about two times to reach about 70% once again by the end of August 2019. Then 2020 rolled around and along with it came DeFi summer in full swing with protocols offering insanely high yields, investors and DeFi degens alike poured capital back into the altcoin market. Bitcoin's dominance started to decline as a result and hit 40% towards the end of the year. Ever since then, it has been ranging between 40% to just under 50%. Though instead of being immediately rejected from the top of the range, it has hovered close to it for many weeks now at the time of shooting. So it may be something worth keeping an eye on to see what it does next. So then some of the factors that affect Bitcoin's dominance like the bull and bear market. So during bull runs, traders become more willing to take risks and experiment with smaller cap altcoins and hence move from established boring coins like Bitcoin. This, of course, causes Bitcoin's market dominance to decline. In bear markets, people have probably gotten wrecked and this affects the behavior of crypto traders, which then shifts towards being more cautious and risk averse. That may mean putting their money back into large, safer projects like Bitcoin or exiting the market altogether. Bitcoin's price and dominance have varied significantly over its history and investors and analysts have looked into the tea leaves to decipher what their movements could mean, especially in relation to the altcoin market and as a market sentiment gauge. The general findings and observations that resulted can be summarized and simplified into this neat little matrix of Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price and you'll find many variations of this table out there. One of the ways to use this indicator could be to identify a Bitcoin season or altcoin season. For instance, when Bitcoin price is on a rally and its dominance is increasing along with it, this means that it is outperforming the altcoin market as a whole. Meanwhile, if Bitcoin price is heading up, but its dominance is going down, this means that the growth of the altcoin market is outpacing Bitcoins. Now, of course, as with most indicators, these outcomes are not set in stone and act more like a guideline. A more useful way to think of Bitcoin dominance might be to think in terms of where liquidity is flowing and risk. For instance, is capital flowing into Bitcoin? Altcoins are out of the market altogether. Getting a sense of where money is flowing may inform your decision 
decision making. If capital is flowing into Bitcoin out of altcoins or out of the market completely, you also have to consider the risk of holding altcoins. Particularly during bear markets, most altcoins bleed not only against the dollar, but are also in a long term downtrend against Bitcoin itself. While the metric is popular, it has received its fair share of criticism surrounding its reliability. Among them being that it doesn't take into account permanently lost Bitcoin, which means its real market cap is actually lower as there is a portion of its supply that is inaccessible. The metric also doesn't account for the growing dominance of stablecoins. From 2019 till early 2022, the market cap of stablecoins has grown exponentially from about 4 million to 151 billion. This means that traders and investors have an alternative to Bitcoin when it comes to seeking safety and stability or when entering the market or taking profits. This dilutes Bitcoin's share of the market and can notice notably affect the Bitcoin dominance metric. As with all indicators and signals, it's not wise to rely solely on one to determine your trading strategy. Instead, combine it with other indicators to better identify market trends. So now that you've learned about Bitcoin dominance and its history, how about check out a comparison of its previous bear markets instead? We've got you covered with a video on that right here.